datum features must be of sufficient size. Datum selection is one of the most significant aspects of applying GD&T. In section 4.3 of the standard, it says that a datum feature should be of sufficient size to permit its use. Well, the major use of datum features is to arrest or take away the degrees of freedom or movement of a part so that it can be reproducibly inspected. On this drawing, the primary datum feature is this large hole in the middle. Now this is a thin part. We're asking this cylindrical feature that's not very long to take away four degrees of freedom. That's ridiculous. This hole isn't long enough. That would be like trying to reproducibly grab this disc by the diameter. You just can't do it. If you do this on a drawing, please do not tell anyone that you've been reading my tips. Now the second drawing has a large flat surface as a primary datum feature. It can arrest three degrees of freedom. The center hole then is your secondary datum feature and now it only has to take away two degrees of freedom which it can reproducibly do. The datum features you pick have to be usable. By selecting practical datum features your designs will perform better and you can let everyone know that you are a faithful reader of my tips. I'll see you next month.